22nd March is World Water Day and this year's theme is Water and Energy. I'm here to talk to Chandler Badlo, UNICEF's expert on water, sanitation and hygiene about the issues specific to East Asia and the Pacific. Chanda, um, why is improving water and sanitation important in East Asia and the Pacific? Unfortunately, diarrheal disease is still the number two cause of child death in the region and it's very clearly linked to not having access to safe water and proper sanitary facilities. Uh, secondly, in, our, in the region we see that there are a number of countries with very high uh, prevalence of uh, stunting and there is increasing evidence that links poor sanitation, not having access for, to water for, for example, hand washing, uh, with uh, high rates of stunting. So very two concrete clear reasons that affect children, why uh, water and sanitation still is a significant uh, challenge in the region. Could you give me an example of a specific country in this region? Just looking across the region, there are still um, 180 million people without water. Although I must say that as a region, tremendous progress has been made over the past decades uh, in, in improving access, um, in bringing water to, to, to families. And, uh, uh, as an example, if you look at Indonesia, you find very high national averages, but when we look a bit deeper, we find that there are urban and rural differences which are, which are big. And again, looking within the rural population as such, you find that uh, most of the poorest uh, are not having access to this basic uh, service. What is UNICEF doing to address this issue? I wanted to illustrate that the, like UNICEF works uh, with very closely with national partners, and the prime focus is to work with uh, partners at the national level on improving, refining uh, national policies, strategies and action plans. And those policies, action plans are actually guided or guided by some concrete examples on the ground. In Timor-Leste, for example, there are you know, mountain areas where it is very difficult to fight water at a reasonable distance. Um, there is no energy available, so it's, it's difficult to bring water to schools and communities living in high, high mountainous areas. What UNICEF has tried uh, successfully is to use solar energy to, uh, uh, to be able to pump the water that they collect from rainwater in. It's stored in large tanks and using solar energy it's pumped to the school at different locations and also to families living around the school and as such is a very concrete way of bringing a solution to children uh, in the school and to the families around. Thank you, Chanda. To find out more, visit us at www.unicef.org forward slash eapro.